right there we are then so uh you've seen that the meat and the veggies are all in the dish so i uh, boiled up the potatoes, took them out, let them go cold, sliced them up, so that's where we are now. So I'm just going to pop some cheese on the top now. Hello everyone, Leslie Ann here. If you're new to my channel, then you're very, very welcome. It's lovely to see you. And a massive big hug to everyone else who subscribed to my channel, follows my channel, and we chat, you know, on, we chat in the comments and chat privately as well. Um, I thought I'd just do a video today of, well, actually, it's probably going to be over a couple of days, of literally just what's going on you know what's going on over the last couple of days just sharing some hours of my lifestyle with me um so just a few bits and bobs just to touch base with you guys um i hope you enjoy i'll see you at the end whenever there's any diy to be done <laughs> ted's there to help aren't you teddy oh, hello hello lily lily Teddy, Ted, you're getting ready to do the DIY? Yeah. Hello, hello. So we've ordered a new, um, like an ottoman type of thing sort of coffee table storage unit for the lounge just to put the cushions in and the throws in and then we can sort of use it put a tray on the top as well for like our drinks and if i could have shown you the box you'd have seen the teeth marks in it the tip in there when it was delivered <laughs> as per normal um, so I actually got this from Wayfair and if I can I'll link it down below in case you're interested in going and having a look um, but it does look like a suitcase Ted, are you, are you sort of working out how the legs go on? Yeah? Are you working out how those legs go on? Yeah? Well, no. Baby girl, what's going on? What's Elsie up with you? You're not a mountain goat, Lily. Look, you can see where I've kissed her on her head. And that bit that lipstick on like kissed her, so I need to wipe that off. Are you doing the inspection, Teddy? Hey, eh? are you inspecting it, darling, to make sure it's okay? Cause a dog's life and they're our little helpers. Oh, yeah, what's Daddy got? What's he got? Yep, does he need you? Yeah, he's going to need your help, Ted, in a minute. Ted, yeah. you just hold that. Stop it folding for me, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? You should clever for me. Shaking. You're like Elsie, scared of furniture, scared of new things coming in and being put together. Why are you so scared, eh? You silly sausage. Now you're the sausage. Foreman watching over Chris. <laughs> Is he doing a good job, Ted? Oh, 
Why are you hiding, you silly sausage? Hey, why are you hiding? Don't you like it? Don't you like the sound? Huh? Why are you have a nervous disposition, little girl? Hey? Went for that colour because, guys, the colour on the sofa, well, the cushions that I've got on the sofa here, they've got that sort of mustard colour piping around the edge. So, I thought they would go nicely. So the chair that we recently bought is a recliner, it's a manual recliner um, and it's got the little sort of Chesterfield sort of look to it. So that's in the navy blue and it's got the stud work all along here. Um, the sofa, I've got throws on it obviously at the moment because having the dogs here, that's in this lovely forest green and that again has got the Chesterfield look to it. Um, they are both velvet and then we've got the green cushions with the mustard piping and the blue cushions to sort of bring it all in together and then the cushion on the chair is green like a textured and um, so we thought this would go really nicely it's it's you know a, a, a nice textile as well um, and it goes very nicely with what I call our peacock room because we have the peacock wallpaper and blue but over here we do have the light colors and then over here we have blue Um, and then the wall with the curtain is actually like a, um, a bright colour as well, but I've got the curtains closed at the moment. Because I'm expecting a shopping delivery and I don't want the dogs to start barking. Um, so all the colours, like the blues and the greens, the sort of teal colours, with a little bit of sparkle over there on the, on the uh, peacocks. And then the brass or candle holders, the mirror frame, all goes so nicely together. And Mr. Sparkles have done the job again. Right guys, this is what it looks like. I'll show you the inside. So as you can see, it's sort of like a case. And then you've got, you open it, then inside it's got the, um, I don't know what if you call those bits, that the hinges. I suppose to keep it open just holding those down I suppose you can put things in there yeah. to hold it down yeah. drop the scissors well done so I'm going to immediately put something on top of it because that will prevent the dogs from jumping up there straight away thought I'd just share this with you. Um, I've just received this. Um, it is from, I bought it myself, and it's from Just My Look. So I've never ordered anything from them before. 
comes in this wrapper, this plastic. It's got just my look written on it. Um, but I was after a couple of new bits of makeup. Um, and then since sort of Wilco's, you know, <laughs> has kind of gone, although it's meant to be coming back or whatever, um, I wanted to get one of the Essence mascaras that are absolutely brilliant. And um, tried other places, couldn't get, couldn't get any. Um, so I went on to Google and put it in. And uh, it came up with this, just my look. So I thought, oh well, you know, go, excuse me, go for it. So it all comes really well protected and bubble wrapped. A lot of bubble wrap, but then it does keep your product safe. Right, okay, so this is a couple of bits that I've actually ordered. Um, I ordered this, so this is by the company Wow, and this is the Extra Mystical Shine Spray. Um, so it gives your hair a beautiful, beautiful spray. It's a finishing spray. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that when I next do my hair properly, which I haven't done today. Um, but I ordered two of these pencils, two of these like cold pencils. Um, but I wanted them really to do like the waterline. A lot of the ones that I've got either really annoy me or they're a little bit sharp or they, um, they just don't last, they wear off. So I thought I'd try these. So I went for two different colours. Um, I went for... Uh, brown. This one's brown and this one is black. So I'm going to try the brown one. So there we go. Um, and they were just sort of the same price. I mean, I can't remember what they were actually, but I do remember that they were like the prices that you'd pay in like, say, Wilco's or Superdrug, you know, really reasonable. Oh dear, a bit annoying, aren't they, these things to open? So I'm just going to put a couple of bits on, so I'm going to just put on, try that cold pencil, and then do my brows, a bit of mascara, a little bit of lippy, let's get going. So actually, it really looks nice, that's what it, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the mirror here. It's really smooth. It really does make a difference, isn't it? Like, you know, it just sort of defines your eye a little bit. But it goes on beautifully smooth. We are bitting a tiny bit on the uh, bottom waterline. That feels lovely, really smooth. And then I'm gonna apply, oh my gosh, I love this mascara. So this is the Essence. Is this the princess one that I've got here? Yeah, the princess lash. Really good mascara. And I like it because it's got the very sort of skinny uh, brush. And then... I love this mascara, which is why I actually got two this time, because I thought, wow, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem buying them, then uh, grab two. But then absolutely, now I can get them from this company. I'll pop the link down below, the name of the company. There we are, just look a little bit more human. Um, just gonna pop a brow on quickly.
might just stick on a a little bit of blush this is a Laura Geller one that I'm absolutely look completely almost out of tiniest little scraping left I do love it so much as you can see I need to get another one and um, just do a real quick lip go for like a lip gloss this is by <coughs> excuse me doll 10 just stick a little lip gloss on just like a very sort of natural nudie color I'm just literally got a bit of light on the subject. Just gonna comb my hair. I haven't curled it, haven't haven't straightened it, haven't done anything, no dry shampoo, nothing. Not going anywhere at all today, so um I'm not gonna sort of like sort of stress my hair out. I'm just just giving it a comb and I used the um Oh, what make is it again? The is it Pantan Pantan? The it was the conditioner for the menopause, menopausal hair. And so I used that the other day. Shall I give this a go and just see what it if it makes a difference? Although I'm not sort of obviously haven't done my hair, I'm straightened it or anything, just see if it does. It's job to tell, isn't it? Like in this light, but uh, hopefully giving it a nice shine because when you've got grey hair, blonde hair, you know, it can often lack a lot of lustre, can't it? You know, um, yeah, so that's that anyway. Um, what else do I want to share with you? I've got some shoes. So I want to share these with you. Um, these have actually been gifted to me um, so that I can share them with you. So they are by a company called Fitville and it says on the box, free your toes on the box. And what they are, they are um, a company who, oh, bless you. They're a company who, who make shoes, boots, sandals, trainers, for people who are sick to death and fed up with wearing uncomfortable shoes. So whether you are a runner, there's something for you. Whether you're just somebody who wants to just get out walking, walks the dogs, who just wants comfortable feet, like most of us, like I do, want comfortable feet. If you want something cosy, you want something trendy. Um, I would insert some photographs for you so that you can see, you know, what some of the shoes and the trainers look like. Prices are incredible. Um, I know currently now they have 25% of quite a lot of their products as well. Um, but I was able to choose which ones I wanted. So I went for these. Um, on the little card here, it does say Fitville. And it tells you how to look after your shoes as well. And see the ones I went for. I haven't tried them on at all. I thought I'd wait, you know, to do the video just to include it in this video. And um, this is the ones that I've ordered. I thought they're going to be really cozy and snuggly for winter time. Really nice. So they've got a really nice thick sole with a lot a lot of like grip you can see the type of grip it's got so it's really going to hold the roads and pavements really really well right and as you can see they are all lined like this all over the top of the foot 
inside around the foot at the back inside they've got like a they've got let me just try to show you on the inside the sole on the inside isn't so much sort of like sherpa but it's like a valva is beautiful so that's obviously one that i chose so let's get the whole pair out shall we So these are the ones that I went for. I thought they were really, really nice in there, right up my street. Now I ordered these in a size four. Um, I think, I just sort of read a couple of reviews and a lot of people had said size down a little bit, if, especially if you're a half size, size down. But obviously, you know your own feet and just take a measurement of your foot from your, you know, to toes to heel. Take a measurement and then you can sort of know you're getting the right size. But I'm going to pop them on. I ordered a four and a half. Sorry, I thought I ordered a five, but it's not. It's a four and a half. Um, they are quite big as you can see four and a half and I can actually bring my foot out quite easily however I could definitely stick a nice thick pair of socks on so you can see how easily they actually slip on and they do come up quite big guys I will I will say that I didn't think the four and a half would be this big um I think maybe I should have gone down to a four. The thing is, I am anything between a four and a half and a five. So I thought if I go down to a four, sometimes I, I, I wasn't convinced that they would be big enough. Um, I thought, well, I'll stick to the, you know, safe side and just get four and a half. And as I say, it does give me the option now to... Uh, to wear some nice thick socks with it. Oh my gosh, they really are cosy, really, really comfortable as well. But um, as I say, I will, to wear these out, I will definitely have to pop a pair of socks on. So if you do decide to go over to the website and have a look at anything, then just bear in mind that you might need to size down. But again, just sort of like look at the measurements and then, you know, I'm sure you'll be able to order the right size. But if they do end up being a little bit too big for you, which is obviously better than being a bit too small, then um, just remember you can pop some nice thick socks on with them. I do like a cottage pie today, but with a bit of a difference. So rather than mashed potato on the top, I'm going to just put, um, boil some potatoes up and then just slice them and lay it on the top, a bit like a, what would you call it? Is that called like a hot pot or something? But yeah, I thought that's what I'd do, so I thought I'd just show you. Right, so put the onions in at the bottom. They've got translucent now. Uh, so just break down the, the meat. I think this is actually a mixture of pork and beef this one. What I'm going to do, because I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I can actually be bothered to do a load of veg at the same, like, uh, you know, to cook veg, if um, I'm trying to do like a one dish and I can just pop it in the oven to heat through, as I've said. Um, so what I might do is put a load of veg in here and cook it all through. So all the vegetables are actually in the dish. All right, there we go. So I've got in here, I've also got the onion and my, a couple of carrots, some white cabbage, which I've shredded, and some frozen peas, green beans, like a little mixed veg, corn, a mixed veg, um, salt and pepper, a beef stock cube, 
And so I'm just going to let it cook down a bit. And then, once it's all cooked, I will just leave it. And then a bit later on today, I will assemble the dish. Make up a little bit of gravy, pour a little bit of gravy in there. And then cook the potatoes. And slice them up. And then lay them over the top. And then it literally is like one pot then, because I don't have to cook any other veg with it. So we've got all our veg in here. So I'll come back a bit later on tonight when it's time to finish off the dinner and show you what it looks like. But I'm going to just turn the gas off now. Whoops, and uh, pop the lid on. There we go. And just leave that just to carry on cooking in the hot pan. I've done the potatoes, crisp peeled those for me. They're going in whole because obviously I want to be able to slice them as like, you know, whole slices. Diff. Yeah. I put some Worcester sauce in here as well. I don't know if I told you that. I cook, I use Worcester sauce for most things. Right, so they're going a bit later. Right, there we are then. So, uh, you've seen that the meat and the veggies are all in the dish. So I uh, boiled up the potatoes, took them out, let them go cold, sliced them up. So that's where we are now. So I'm just gonna pop some cheese on the top now. Right, so here we go then. So that's all done. So I'm going to pop it into the oven. The oven's come up to temperature. Let it warm all the way through and go lovely golden brown. So probably a good 20, 25 minutes in there. And then I've got the gravy over here that I just need to uh, warm through again. <laughs> It's a very big dinner. Um, however, we have got all the veggies in there as well. So off to enjoy my dinner. I'm gonna love you and leave you now today. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of a catch up video with you. Um, just a few things that have gone on in the last few days. Yeah, just to touch base, you know. So I'm gonna love you and leave you as I've said, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Meanwhile, everyone take great, great care of yourselves. If you have enjoyed just watching a snippet of what goes on in my life, on my lifestyle channel, then please give this video a nice big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd be delighted if you would subscribe, it's absolutely free. And uh, of course, if you press that notification bell, then you'll know when I do my next upload. So yeah, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye. Bye.